Morning friends, and welcome to Morty Plays Dark Souls. Today is going to be a really good day because we have one of these. We have a red eye orb. And what we're going to use this for is we're going to go up to Sun's Fortress and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to invade people, we're going to kill people, we're probably going to get killed by people. But that's not a problem. Oh, look! He's over there. I completely forgot that uh, Donald would wind up over there. Okay. That was a bit late. Now for the parry. Thank you. Over the edge. Double, double. Two hand the sword. Well, now it's just time to take a look at what this guy has to sell. Is he wearing glasses? I think he's wearing glasses. And a weird mess. Okay, it's just glasses. Okay, that's weird. Gold pine resin, master key, crystal stuff, arrows, and his gear. Well, I don't need any of this gear. Okay. Well, that is a shame then. But no yeah. No. Yeah. Well, anyway, I noticed something interesting the last time I ran past here. Oh, having poise is so nice. Last time I ran through air, I didn't have any poise, and uh, let me tell you, that's not very fun at all. Whoa. Okay, you're really fast. You're up there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, this is the way to Sun's Fortress. Actually, I think uh, a faster way to Sun's Fortress would be to go up the elevator. Damn it, I'm getting senile in my old age. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, good luck. I'm probably gonna need it. Anyway, we have Pet... Ooh. We have Petrus over here. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't do anything uh, villainous at all. Hmm. Well, now we actually have a bit of a, a conundrum. We no, you know what? We can do uh, the depth. The depth. We can go down to the tomb of giants later because. Um, if memory serves me correctly, we can't actually kill Nito until after we've uh, gotten the Lord Vessel. And fighting all the way down to Nito and then discovering that, no, oh, no, you, you can't go through the, the fog door because there's a golden go away and find the Lord Vessel door in the way. That would be really annoying. So we're not going to do that. We are going to go into Sen's Fortress and we're going to help uh, Siegmeier, Siegward. Sigurd? I think his name, his name is Sigurd. Anyway, who cares what his name is, we're gonna help him. And after we've helped him, or while we're helping him, it kinda depends on how you look at it, we're gonna invade people. That's gonna be really fun. Let's see, I should probably equip... Someone's following me. I knew it. I thought I heard something. Anyway, ooh. Are you... you're probably a ghost, right? Yeah, yeah, he was. Anyway, we should probably equip the black crystal as well. Just so we can get out of here if someone uh, doesn't really want to get invaded and does something annoying. Uh, we might as well repair our equipment as well. Here we go. Do I have enough stuff to upgrade my claymore? Maybe? Let's take a look before we head out to do anything else. And do you want it? Oh, I can be persuaded. Oh, 
Of course I'll give you the large ember. No, I will. I can't smith anything. Okay, let's see. Uh, reinforced weapon, the claimers. I need more large titanite shards, and I don't have any. He doesn't sell any either. Uh, yeah. I think the bastard sword is quite good, but I don't need it. I've got the black knight sword, and that's really good. Let's see, do I have any... Wait a minute. I have a Firekeeper's Soul, don't I? Damn it. Okay, uh... You know, watching me run back would be boring, so we're gonna run forward. And I'll just have to remember to use that Firekeeper's Soul the next time I get to a place that has a, a Firekeeper. So then I can get my, bar, my Estus Flask up to plus two. Morning, my serpentine. F Ooh. Yep, he's dead. Uh oh. Takes forever. Oh, that was nice. I keep forgetting that swinging takes an eternity. I know I complain every time, but then I forget. Because I have so many hours invested into uh, Dark Souls 3 that remembering that Dark Souls 2 is different just doesn't stick. Okay, let's see. There's a Titanite Demon down there. Uh, I don't remember how far I can drop without dying. I actually think I can drop all the way without dying. So we're just gonna equip uh, the Rusted Iron Ring, and then we're gonna do a f plunging attack and miss. Oh, and I. Well, at least not. No. Did I sit down at the bonfire? I don't think I did. I think I'll spawn all the way back to the first one. No, I, I sat down. Nice. Now I can go get my souls. Uh, anyway... I need to practice. I've gotten so bad at dodging. Or actually, I haven't gotten bad at dodging. If I was playing Dark Souls 3, I would probably dodge every attack with impeccable timing. But we aren't, and I'm not. Okay, friends. Okay, I was kind of hoping to lure one of you into getting shot by the arrows. There we go. You're dead. I'm not quite sure where the other one is, because I know there's two. Because there's always two. There you are! Oh, I thought he was still alive. Okay. Yeah, that's right, I don't have any poise. Okay, let's see. We should probably try to jump! There we go. Drink. There are more than one here, so... Uh, okay. Pretty sure I... Pretty sure I dodged correctly, but I, apparently I didn't. Okay, might want to get all the way up to full health. Okay, so there's another one all the way over there. As well as a bunch of those guys. Ow! I didn't expect your lightning to be that fast. Oh, don't... Don't lock onto those. That'll get me killed. Okay, now that's why he keeps hitting me. Because uh, his arm has several hitboxes. Yeah. Not to mention his tail. Also has several hitboxes.
Okay, practically I'm not doing well. Okay, I'm doing okay. Never mind. Hey, a scythe. More demon titanite, but I don't have any demon weapons, and I'm actually relatively sure I'm not going to get any demon weapons either. Well, time to outrun uh, the guys upstairs. Because they're going to keep... They're down here! No, they're not. Sounded like they were down here. Hmm, weird. Climb up. I only have two Estus flasks left. Mm. I don't think that's enough. It's probably not enough. Not to mention that my playstyle is mostly based around dodging, and if memory serves me correctly, dodging... Um, dodging uh, the mobs further up here is going to be really hard. Okay. I think this is the um, the secret path to get to the giant. Yeah, there he is. Imminent illusory wall. No. You're a liar. Oh. Okay. You are a lot faster than I remember you. You also had a lot less HP than I remembered. Titanite Chunk. Yeah, that wasn't very hard. Try jumping. Wow. That joke is just as funny now as it was the, the previous 2,000 times. Okay, friends. Uh, not to rain on anyone's parade. But it's going to be really hard to get through here with only one Estus flask. Morning, friend. There you go, you're dead. Well, I reconsidered. Getting through here with zero Estus flasks is going to be even harder. Ooh, bloodstain, what the hell killed you? Uh, well, apparently using a weapon with a really wide swing in a confined area. Let's see, need ranged... Oh yeah, now I remember where I am. You're probably going to kill me, aren't you? Yep. Okay, opening the chest. Lodge Titanite Shard. Great. And this is where you're waiting. Oh, huh, dead already. Yeah, I think you can send uh, one of the rocks down here to break the wall. And if uh, I think Big Hat Logan is behind the wall. Well, that looked like it might hurt. Time to do some blocking. Hello, friend. Oh. And now we're dead. Thank you. We just gotta wait for the next uh, boulder, and then we're gonna run. Oh, shh. I don't think I'm fast enough. Where... Where's the rock? There it is. Now you're gonna die. Let me in, damn you, let me in. Whew. Yeah, I remember from previous experience that you can actually get stuck there. And uh, then that thing, the big rock, will just pulverize you. There we go. Going back down. Wow. 
Whoa! Damn it. I completely forgot that he was really slow. And I don't think the trap resets itself, but just to be sure, we were gonna pass all the way to the right. And that is the sound of the thing up there changing positions. And I'll just need to wait for the rock to come down. Then we're gonna run up. Hopefully before the next rock arrives. Ooh, that was, that was really close. That was really close. Now we're gonna send it this way, just for fun. Now we're gonna send it this way, just for fun. And now we're gonna send it this way, just for fun. There we go. Each of these directions... Let's just do something fun. This is where I came up, I think. No, this is where I came up. So what the hell does this lead to? Oh, well, never mind. I do remember this, though. This is where you have the shooty things. I've been killed by those so many times. The best part is if you panic roll it quite often hits you anyway and then you feel really dumb. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get across here without getting hit. I don't remember how I did it last time. Oh no, wait, I think I remember. You just need to run at the correct time. Well, that wasn't... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There we go, you're dead. Uh, there's another guy in there, but I don't have much HP. So I really don't want to fight him. I'd rather just fight you. And hope that the other guy doesn't come... Doesn't come to say hello. And this is where one of those guys are just waiting to say hello. And you have to kill her. Or him? It. You have to kill it. Uh-oh. Ah! That was the death of me. Okay, well... Well, now we know where to go. All the way back. Maybe we can just run past these people. Or the uh, people, these snakes. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Probably not. You know, this is... Okay, so... Okay? Gravelord... Ugh, Gravelording appears to be working. It didn't used to work, but now it... Or at least it didn't used to work in the old one. But now it does. Hey! They triggered their own trap! Oh, shit. Okay, now you're dead. I dodged. There must be something wrong with my controller because I didn't even try to dodge. It works perfectly when I do... You know what, never mind. I don't know. This game is weird. This game is weird and I'm playing with a PS4 controller which I've modified myself and that's pretending to be an Xbox One controller. And I can't for the life of me imagine why I should have any issues with it. And now you're dead. Thank you. Managed to get across without dying. That's really nice. Tears ahead. Oh yeah, because I... Yeah, yeah. It's up here. With that person. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was 23,000 souls out the window. Damn it, do I have to go get, um... I don't want to. It's annoying. Oh, I don't want to. 
Yeah, you know, screw it. Souls are cheap. But this time, since we know it's... I don't have anything to lose anymore, let's just run past everything. What the hell's that so sound? Well, I don't know. Well, as I said, since we know, since I now have nothing to lose, we can just run past everything. Don't think they'll follow me forever. And if they do, they'll get hit by these things. And if this doesn't work, then we're just going to have to go get a bow and arrow. Oh, too early. Yeah, well, I don't like you. Oh, I can get my 1500 souls back. Thank you so much. I... Okay. This is really weird. Whoa. Well, at least this thing should... What the hell happened there? Well, the graphical overhaul apparently didn't do anything about just edges being... Metaphor... Met metaphorical? <sighs> you know what? Let's just do this. You know what? I'm thinking. We should probably have stronger Estus flasks, so we're gonna go back and fix that, and then we're gonna go back and kill those all those people. Uh, we should also probably grab a bow, even if that is the most annoying way of killing those guys. Access bottomless box, which one of these? Oh, I have those, never mind. Uh, you're probably somewhere here. Let's see. A bow, a bow, a bow. Composite bow. I do have a, both a composite and a normal bow. Awesome. Let's Okay, let's equip it. That one does more damage. I can still fast roll. Awesome. So we're gonna go and improve our Estus flask. This part's probably gonna be boring, so it'll get sped up in... Uh, in the final edit. I'm running past all these uh, people. Okay, so we're gonna use our soul, our firekeeper soul, to get better Estus. We're also going to sit down so we get 10 Estus. And then we're gonna fight our way through the entire thing. We're gonna kill the girl upstairs, because she's, um... Not much of a threat. And the last one that killed me on the last, uh, annoying ledge. She's gonna get arrows in her face. Let's see, my firekeeper is still alive, because I killed Lawtrek before he had time to go kill her. Which is nice. Hello, friend. Thank you. I don't have any Firekeeper Souls. Okay, let's run up. Sit down here so we can get 10. Wait a minute, did, could I warp? Can I warp? No, I can't. Okay, so back up. Run into Sense Fortress, and I don't have any souls, so I might as well do a couple of invasions while I'm trying to get my ass through. Meow. Okay, as soon as we're inside Sun's Fortress, we're gonna do a couple of invasions. Because invading in Sun's Fortress is really fun! I say this because of the five, maybe five times I got invaded last time I played, four of them was in Sun's Fortress. And one of the guys was just kind of waiting there with the big ass dragon bow thing. He just shot me off, ugh, shot me off every ledge. Which is kind of annoying when he's just uh, blocking the way forward and just standing there shooting arrows at you. You following me? Yes you are, but I don't care. I have 2,000 souls to pick up, friend. Might as well sit down here so I don't have to run all, with, all the way back if I die. It 
If I die, yeah. Good one, Morty. <sighs> that camera auto recovery is really annoying. Okay, let's see. Let's increase the volume on the voice so we can actually hear what people are saying. And auto wall recovery off. There we go. Uh, yeah, I have my bow. It's good. Uh oh. Oh, I managed to get past them without any problems at all. That's nice. There are my souls as well. Okay, time to get past you. Hello, friend! And there's the final shot. Okay, time to continue up here. You are a bit of a bastard, but I think I can get through it quite... Okay. Oh, that was... Okay, it's so not your dead. Recover lost power. Stay out of the way of the darts. Wait a minute. Are the rocks getting sent this way? That's not very good. That's actually a huge problem. Well, if I go this way, they should get sent this way. Shouldn't they? I thought they would. Yep. You're not. You still getting sent this way? Oh, uh, I'll have to go back and get Logan afterwards. Never mind. They'll probably get sent this way now. Yep. Now they're getting diverted, which means I can go down and get Logan. If they ever manage to get here. Whoa, that was confusing. Yeah, well. Should have been nicer to me last time, then I wouldn't have stoned you. Okay, let's see. That means it's back to its normal path, so I can go release Logan. I'll do it on the way back. Getting in and out of these um, cages is um, quite scary. Because I seem to remember being able to fall down. That may just be my memory fucking with me, but, uh... You seem quite lucid. I am. Thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I can. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Yeah, I'll release you. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm saying. You are. I have to resume my travels, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Farling Shrine. Sorry. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Yeah, I think I remember him. Oh, hello. I'll be along later. Yeah, never mind. I think I remember his quest line. I need to buy all of his sorcery. That causes him to go away to the crystal library's place. Uh, there he'll learn knowledge he shouldn't have known, and that will cause him to go crazy. So I can meet up against uh, meet up with him again after I've defeated um, Seath. After I've defeated Seath. Are you ready to come here and say hi? Come on, friend! What? Don't tell me you're not gonna set off the pressure plate. Damn it. He's not gonna set off the pressure plate. That's not very nice. I was kinda hoping you'd set off the pressure plate so I wouldn't have to die. Okay, I actually managed to get, get out of this without dying. Which is really nice. Okay, 
Let's see, you just gotta wait uh, for the next rock because your window to... Ooh, vibrating. Your window to time this is really, really narrow. Like, stupidly narrow. Okay, run up, run up, run up, run up, stay in the middle, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. And there we go. Okay, and now we're just gonna go back. So we don't get shot by the arrows. Praise the sun, you know what? Uh, oh no, I don't have the thing, I can't rate stuff. Oh well, never mind. Let's see, this is where... This is, oh yeah, yep, this is the one where you need to run. Uh, which means probably now. Thank you. Yep. Oh shit. Not enough stamina. There we go. Now we're dead. Uh, this is a shortcut to death, if I remember correctly. It's also the place where I used to find a bunch of try jumping messages. Which is just mean. Okay, there you are. Uh, no, you're dead because you don't have that much poise, and I have a little bit of poise. Ooh, large titan. And the man serpent sword. Which I think is quite good. Let's see. Man serpent, great sword. Uh, I'm not strong enough. I actually think it's. Let's take a look at the one handed move. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not strong enough. Uh, how much strength do I need? I need 24. That's actually a fair bit. Well, we'll have to take a look at uh, the move set of the Man Serpent Greatsword once I'm strong enough to use it. But I got something else. I got. I have enough large Titanite shards to upgrade my um, my my thing. There we go. I haven't equipped any arrows. What does that one use heavy? No, no, of course, that was the bolt. These are the arrows. Large arrow, feather arrow. Okay, let's do this thing. Ouch. This is the most boring way of doing it, but it's also... The only way that's guaranteed to work. Okay, shoot you. Thank you. Yep. Thankfully, you, uh, the circle target thing actually moves as they move. So you can use it to see what they're actually doing. Like, there we go, now you're dead. So it's less of an incredible hassle to get across here. Uh, well, I said less of an incredible hassle, not, uh, no hassle at all. Can I get across? Yes! Uh-oh. Well, maybe there's something over here. She was probably guarding something. She was guarding nothing. This is apparently your chance to get back and get even at pe get even with people for killing you. Try jumping. Shortcut. Well, that's not true. And this is the best part. Get shot in your back. Because if you're moving at normal speed, all of those will hit you. And now for the best part. That guy keeps throwing uh, explosive stuff at us. There we go. I've actually fallen completely off the edge and into the abyss below several times. It's no fun. Anyway, since we're here now, we're gonna do something fun. I'm not human, of course. I can't do it if I'm not human. Now I remember. Use my one of my humanities. Okay, turn into a human. Pro I'm probably gonna get invaded. Offer humanity in reverse hollowing, thank you. And now I can use my red eye orb. Do, do, do. And try invading another world, of course! 
searching for world to invade. Let's see, uh, this is my drop down to here. Invasion cancelled, does that mean I'm getting invaded? Probably. Oh no, that's right, I moved from inside the thing to outside the thing. Ouch. Okay, now that was really dumb. Well, it's on fire forever. Which is great. So, time to keep running so I don't get those things in my face all the time. And now we have to fight this guy. Who's probably gonna kill me. Oh! Okay, I can parry his attack. Okay, note to self, run away. Heal. Wait for the wind up. Uh, and he's dead. Well. What? Uh. What? This is weird. I know, I. Don't want to start an offline... Okay, well, never mind. This was a bit irregular, so apparently we won't be doing any invasions today. This is really weird. Oh well. Let's solve that issue quite fast. I don't have to worry about invasions. Invading or getting invaded. Well, that just gives me more time to focus on uh, getting all the way up to the boss. Hi, friend! Who the hell are you? Oh, I know who you are. You're Ricard. But I never remember you uh, as uh, the kind of guy who used a bow and arrow. And now you're dead. That was a weird fight, but okay. Well, let's see. Uh... Yep, both of those chests are normal chests. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Divine Blessing. Good choices. Good choices, both of them. Okay, so time to go back. Um, should probably try to get back online. I wonder if I lost my network completely or if it's just some kind of bug with this game. Maybe the servers went down. Yeah, probably. Anyway, we have to get up here without dying. Uh, okay. Kind of forgot which way I needed to go. And I actually ran the wrong way. Because I didn't actually go to kill the correct giant. You're the wrong giant. Oh well. At least there won't be any more rocks coming. Oh, that's really nice. Is there any way down? I don't think so. Means I have to go down the hole. And that means I have to go back this way. And the pressure pr plate is re... Attached. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, that means I need to go past all of these again. Which is really annoying. This is probably going to kill me. Yep. Turning around out there is definitely going to kill me. There we go. Now I need to kill you. Okay, falling down there will, will work. Hello! And I heard that sidestepping won't save you, lady. Yeah, that was 
You again. Ah! That changes your uh, equipped arrows. It doesn't actually shoot from the other ones. Oh. Falling down will work equally well. There we go. Now we just need to make our way upstairs so we can kill uh, the flamethrowing giant. I think that giant respawns every time. Which is kind of mean if you ask me, but they didn't consult me when they designed this game. And if... yeah, there's some guy to the left, I think. Yep, there you are. Whoa, you had a lot of poise, friend. Not enough, though, but uh, quite a lot of poise. Heal back up to full. Since I'm not online, I can't actually get invaded. And uh, this is a classic FromSoft. No, could have sworn that there was an illusory wall here. Well, since I can't get through, there obviously isn't. That's weird. Oh yeah, now I remember. This is where you can get downstairs. It's locked. How the hell do you unlock it? I don't remember. There's a way of unlocking it, I'm sure. It's a nice shortcut that per or, um, makes it so you don't have to walk all the way back down every time you want to um, go back up here. Okay. Shoot. Oh, you didn't have a lot. You didn't have much HP. Well, he's walking, so the entire tower is trembling. Hello, friend. Can I kill you before you stomp on me? Yes. What? Thought there would be something up here. Well, except for tight my chunk, but no. You can actually see the iron golem from here. Nice. Okay, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Like, can you invade people if the boss in your area is dead? And I think the answer is yes. You can invade. Uh, but you can't get invaded. So we're just gonna go over there and kill him, and that'll be the end of this episode. Good morning, friend! There's a speedrunner strategy for this guy, which is just get him over to the edge so that when he does his huge swing, he falls off the edge. He can actually knock you off the edge too, which is really not cool. Oh, sh okay, I don't have any stamina, which is not good. I think I dropped him to his knees. And I, I need to be still, otherwise he's gonna knock me off the edge. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, two more, two more. Oh, it actually was two more. And there you go. Bye, friend. Thank you. Core of an iron golem. And some humanity. Nice. Well. Yeah. Well, friends, thank you for watching. It's... it was fun. I hope you'll tune in for the next episode where we go over to Anor Londo.